Hello and welcome to Crafty Stitchers. Um, as you can see, it's a bit different today. Uh, I'm flying solo. I'm on my own. Heather's not here. Um, so what we said was we're going to do kind of updates or little ones, etc. So that it's not so long between. So channel will be me and Heather, but occasionally it might be me on my own or Heather on her own or something in between just to keep the channel going because we've been a bit slack and just want to keep it up to date and show you all what we're up to basically. So today will be a floss tube number 23. It's the 11th of August uh, 2024. It's very warm and I can't have the door, door, can't have the window open because the kids are outside in the street. Uh, so I'm just going to cook for a bit. But we're okay, we're good. So yeah, um, it's a bit odd without Heather, but we'll have a go, see what happens. It's worth a go. Um, so let's start with start, shall we? So um, I wasn't actually planning on any starts, but that's when it happens. So the first one is Frank's family portrait. Uh, this is a Glendon place, and you can see that glare. Um, it's done on 28 Count Meyer by Picture This Plus. And uh, I've made a start. I'll get use that behind it so you can see. And so far, I have the moon, which is a water, Karen Water Lilies, uh, Lemon and Lime, which most of the Glendon Place moons are and I love them. So I've got the moon in there and I've got the house in there. I need to do the windows etc but majority of the house is done so it's good and then I can move down to Frank and his bride and I've got the uh, little metallic uh, charms for the necklace and earrings for the Bride of Frankenstein as well. They come with the fabric and the chart so that's good. So that is my first start. So that's Frank's family portrait. And this one is kept in my new bag I've made. So it's got lots of spooky little creatures and people and I just thought it was perfect for a Glendon place. It's even got a Frank on the bottom and inside I've just put it as a just a dark one my normal tag saying what's in there, what's stitched on, etc. So that's my new bag I made for it, which is nice. No, sorry, I'm going to put this away because the dog's asleep on the floor down here because Eric's out and about, so she's with me. So that was my first start. My second start, this one is a kit that I've been looking for for a while on eBay. Um, then the Lancashire Stitcher's got her county behind her in all of her videos and I've wanted it for a while but sometimes people can put it out for silly money so I've been waiting for it to be reasonable so um, this is the Heritage Stitchcraft uh, Britain in Stitches and it's for Gloucestershire because that's the county that me and Heather live in so got it as a kit it's a 27 count even weave um, doesn't say exactly what the fabric is, just says even weave, um, and it's done with DMC stranded cottons. So that's my little start. So I've got the River Severn in, in down there, and I've got a bit of the border between Gloucestershire and Monmouthshire. So yeah, it's a start. I've wanted this one for a long time, so now I've got it. As soon as it came, I was like, got to be started really hasn't it so hopefully I will make progress on it and it won't be one of those that I start and then put in a box and put that away hopefully so that's my second start and then my third start um I wasn't supposed to have this start at all this is part of my haul as well because I purchased the Prairie Schooler Santa 2024 so, yeah, I've got most of them. I think I'm only missing a couple now. Um, 
2001 and 2011. Uh, the ones that I don't have. Otherwise, I've got all the rest. Um, the reason I started it is I keep them all in here in a folder. And in the back of the folder, I've got the 32 count Belfast linen. And it's all cut to size. Um, so it was easy. I went to put it away. And instead of putting it away, I just picked it out and went, <laughs> I'm going to stitch on a piece of that. So I did put it on my Instagram yesterday. I did his head. And then I just carried on. Got down to his trousers. Uh, there's not a great deal to him. There's a lot of backstitch with the trees. Um, but the main red of his body is the main thing that's going to be the time consuming. I shouldn't take too long there. And, um, just to show you, I have got one from last year that I need to do. And the way I do them is I turn them into hangings. Uh, it's just following Donna Pfeiffer's tutorial. That's really nice. So, yeah. So I've got a couple more in, in my Christmas box. So hopefully once that's done, I'll have two more to do and then I can get them fully finished. And yeah, they'll be up on my tree ready for, because I've got a cross stitch tree that goes up. So yeah, the more the merrier of those. Hopefully if I get one done, I might have time to do another one before Christmas as well, because obviously I've got a lot of them to do. I've only done about five and there's, what, since 1980? Four, something like that. So, yeah, apart from 2001 and 2011, I've got all the rest, so I just need to keep an eye out for those two. So, that is my starts. So, that's what I've started so far. Um, as for whips, um, I went a bit rogue, and instead of doing the whips I'm actually doing a lot of, I decided I'd do whips that I've not touched for a while. Uh, so, the first one is a Glendon Place one, which I started Frank and I thought, oh, I know, I'll do the Glendon Place. So this one is Hooligans Hangout. I don't know if you can see, because of the glare. Oh, I should have taken it out of the plastic, shouldn't I? So this one's done on the speciality uh, fabric fair called Hooligans. It's about the same way as the top Hooligans. Uh, I've got the chart and the fabric together. And this is how far I am at the moment. So um, I've done this pumpkin. I've done the back stitching on the grave and this pumpkin as well. Um, just a word of warning, because of the fabric itself, uh, when I originally started this, I started it in the middle and worked my way down. Um, this ghost fits in between the cobblestones. So I didn't fit in between the cobblestones because I just started in the middle. So what I did was I frogged everything and I started by stitching the cobblestones around the ghost and I've worked off there because that way he fits in there perfectly. Otherwise he doesn't and I had to restart it. So just a word of warning, if you are going to do it, keep an eye on that ghost because that's the one that it all lines up with. It does show it on the cover as well that it's all lined up from the ghost in there. But I didn't realise that when I started it. When I started it, I then had to restart it, which put me not in the best mood with it, I have to say. But yeah, it's all good. This is in another bag that I made myself. Another monster as well. I love the Glendon Place monsters, so. The bags are perfect for it. So that was my first whip. Next, we went on to good old Erin. So this is Erin the Wizard. This is a Heaven and Earth design. All my full coverage I do on 25 count Easy Grid. And I do two over one tent. So Erin the Wizard, okay, sorry about the glare. Um, I think I've said in the past, the reason I'm doing him is I know his nephews. Um, he passed away five, six years ago. Um, Aaron, because Erin was a real person. So that's why I'm doing it, because it's a nice reminder. And uh, this is where I've got to so far. It's more background. <laughs> but I've done two of the raw rows all the way across now. 
I've come in here and I've started filling in the bits that I was um, missing when I was doing cross country down this side when I originally started. Once I've got this page filled in, I don't know whether to work across in pages so that I get to him or just keep going along with the background. <laughs> but it would be nice to actually get him in the picture and not just background because it's at 8.99%. I've put in 592 stitches since last time and it is all just background. There is no Aaron yet. But when we get to him, he will look amazing. Um, so I'm just going to keep plodding on it in bit by bit. So that's Aaron the Wizard. As I said, 592 stitches since last time and it's 8.99%. And I keep looking down because I've got notes. Because I'm not organised enough to just know things. Uh, next one we have is Tilton Crafts. Um, I've not stitched on this one for ages, but I saw Hannah, uh, Hannah Wallstein Home. I um, hope I said that right, Hannah, <laughs> um, after last time. But um, yeah, she showed on her floss tube um, that she's recently purchased this one. Um, so it's Hocus Pocus by Tilton Crafts. Uh, again, I am doing this one on a 25 count. So oh, let's put some up behind it just in case. So that's where I've got to so far. Um, again, started this one cross country, just working my way. Um, but I've now started going across the top, trying to convert it to Royal Rose. Um, I am tempted just to continue this cross country because I'd like to get to the witches before I do more of the top. Everything I'm stitching at the moment on full coverage seems to be background. And I just like to get into some actual picture. It will get there eventually, but yeah, so we're getting there. I'd like to get more of Mary in because I've got most of her hair there. So we'll see. We'll work our way across, I think, bit by bit. So on Hocus Pocus, there was 878 stitches put into that one. And that is now at 10.75%. So that's good. Uh, oh, the next one, this, <laughs> this one wasn't a whip for the day or two ago. Um, I saw Cheryl cross stitch and store crazies Instagram. Um, She's doing this, but she's doing the full cover, super size, max, everything, big ass thing. Um, but it's Farewell to Lothlorien, Heaven and Earth, uh, by Alexandra V. Rach. Uh, I'm doing this for my husband because he loves Lord of the Rings and Lothlorien. So, very dark picture, you can't see it very well. And you won't see much from what I've done because uh, all the things come out. So I've started again in the top corner. So this one, I got 365 stitches in. I've started doing it on rural rows. Uh, it's 0.58%, so it's not even 1% yet. Um, I did do this before. I had, I think it was a page and a half done. I was then moving it out the key snap one day and then realized that right in the middle of the fabric there was a like a fault where the it looked like the thread had gone along and bent round and gone back on itself and left a hole and it was I didn't know if I could patch it I didn't know if I wanted to on something this big because if I did all the stitching and got to it and then I couldn't patch it I'd be gutted so instead what I did was I just scrapped it Bought a new piece of fabric, started again. So, yeah, if you want to see what it should look like being done, go and see Cheryl's, because Cheryl's is amazing. Um, and yeah, she's killing it really good. And that inspired me to get mine out the other day. So thank you, Cheryl. I just need to get it out more often and get more on it done. Um, so that was my whips. Um, there has been a couple of whips that are finishes as well. So I'll show you the finishes now. Um, do I have anything to put behind this one? If I put that behind it. So the first one is uh, Snow Days by Mirabilia. 
This one I was stitching with Lynn the Lancashire Stitcher on Frost Tube and her Instagram is MrsB68 and then also Gina Stitches. Um, it's Snow Days by Mirabilia. This one has a lot of beads in it. A lot of beads. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at Crafty Old Man UK, it's supposed to have Arctic rays in the pom pom of the hat and also this bit up here. But yeah, I don't know how people stitch with it. I literally could just get one thread of it through the hole. How you were supposed to go through it again, I have no idea. It was just diabolical. It pulled everything out of shape. It's just horrible. So I scrapped that, never using that stuff again. Spoken to Gina. Gina is never using that stuff. She has actually got rid of hers. So she's looking at something different to do with hers as well. Um, I think she said she was thinking about doing a yarn or a wool or something. Um, for mine, what I did is I used Weeks Dye Works uh, whitewash with a blending, chronic blending filament, just to make it different from the standard white that I was stitching. So the pom pom and also the trim of the hat. I've done in Weeks Dye Works whitewash with the blending filament in. And I think it's just different enough that I like it. But it's more different in real life than it is on the camera. Uh, but yeah, all those beads are just amazing. I love it. It's the first Mirabilia I fell in love with. And I'm so happy that I've finished it now. So I need to get that one framed. So I'm really pleased with that one. And I never have to use the Arctic Rays again because that's just horrible. Uh, the next finish I got um, is uh, Heritage Stitchcraft, the traditional narrowboat. Uh, and I've actually fully finished it, but I'm going to have to re-fully finish it because uh, the fold lines have come back. I thought I'd ironed them out, but they've come back. So I've got this one, and I've, this is the traditional narrowboat I've just finished. I've also got the modern narrowboat that I finished before. Um, th brown frames I just found on eBay. I'm... I don't care that they're battered and bashed. I like old frames that have been mistreated a little bit. I don't know why. I just, yeah, I like it better than new frames. Um, but this one I'm going to have to take out. I'm going to have to soak it, I think, and then try and get rid of these lines properly. But I'm really pleased to have that one done. Um, I have got another Heritage Crafts, big John James. I think it's called the Lock Narrowboat, which I'm tempted to start <laughs> Tempted to start because I need another start because I've got enough whips to do. Um, yeah, and then that might look nice framed with those near it on my wall. I could have another start. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, so that's my two finishes. Um, haul. Uh, well, my first bit of haul was the Prairie School of Santa. Um, as I say, just need to look out for 2001 and 2011 now, and then that'll be perfect. Um, and then the other bit of haul I got is up here. It's been sat in the background. I don't know if you can see it. So I've got myself a dough bowl. So if I take those out. Do, do, do. So it is very rough. But I quite like the fact that it is rough. Um, it came from the range in the UK. It's $9.99. Didn't think it was too bad. I've always wanted one. So we saw it yesterday and I was like, yep, yeah, that's coming home with me. And then oh, I can put everything back in it. But I'll do that later. And that's the only haul I got. I've been really good lately. Um, that may well change, you never know. <laughs> um, there are some things I've been looking at. Um, Lauren from Floss Abilities. Um, she does the series spring, summer, autumn, winter. Um, the little pieces that you can do in the... I can't remember the names, let me check. Uh, cottage, cottage garden threads. So I've got a few. Um, I've been looking at her designs because I think this might be quite nice to do something monochromatic with those that I could just 
sit and stitch and I like them. And now I've got a dough bowl as well. I can put them in there. Hmm. So, yes, I may well go to the flossibility shop. Trying to be good, but I'm getting tempted by things. Um, uh, plans, plans. Yeah, that. Um, just stitch what I want, really. Um, I, I want to get more progress on my heads, but then at the same time, I like stitching smaller things as well and getting little finishes, so I don't know. Um, oh, um, first of September, I am thinking of starting Mermaid of Atlantis. I mentioned this last time that I've got this one and I've also got the uh, Bella Filipina Atlantis one. Rebecca Journey 3183 on Floss Tube. She's got this and uh, she would quite like to start it. So I'm thinking because uh, I'm one of those uh, 1974 lot that are 50 this year. So I'm 50 in September. So I'm thinking the 1st of September I might do this and this might be my stitch as a reminder of my 50th because I love it and I want to get it started and want to get it done. So I'm thinking I'm going to start that on the 1st of September. So if anybody would like to start on the 1st of September that would be amazing and we can start it but you know what I'm like with start along. The Nora Corbett house one is still in a bag somewhere. But this one, hopefully, because I want to do it for my 50s, would be one I actually do. I actually do. Um, yeah, so Rebecca Journey uh, 3183, if you watch it, if you fancy it, then 1st of September. Let me know. Um, What else? Uh, Floss Tubers. I've uh, just been watching the normal, really. Um, Pam and Steph just keep stitching. Michelle, Mama Loves You GB. Lynn, the Lancashire Stitcher. Um, Sally, Flossy Sews and Grows. And Sarah, Sew Me Sarah. Because they're doing their 50 for 50. Um, talking to Sally the other day. It turns out her birthday is the day before mine. So <laughs> that's scary. Um, Nelly Twins. Um, oh, Lisa, Lost in Stitches. Um so good to see her back. Um, belated birthday wishes for you. Um, done a whip braid and floss tube. Love them. So good to see you back. Brilliant. Uh, oh, and of course, Hannah. Uh, Mrs. Hannah Wollstein Home. <laughs> Wollstein Home. Hannah, I always get it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm trying, trying my best. Um, yeah, so I think that is everything. I will... Yeah, I think so. So obviously, uh, next time, hopefully Heather will be with me and we'll be back. Normal giggling and silliness. Um, it's only been 24, 23 minutes. So you can tell how much Heather talks, can't you? <sighs> but um, yeah, it'll be good to have her back next time, hopefully. Um, and until then, if you like, subscribe, ring the bell, because you never know when we're going to pop back. It could be next week. It could be next year. When, yeah, we're hopefully going to get back onto a better schedule. And obviously, if one of us pop up, if the two of us can't in between or something, then hopefully there'll be more of us. So, yeah, keep you up to date. But till then, thanks very much. And I'll see you again. Bye bye.